combien d'années le bateau Pardon Combien d'années le bateau Euh. 24. Il a 24 ans. Hello, well, this is Plugumalen, early May, and uh, it's the first sail of the season. So I'm going to launch into this river and uh, make sure everything still works. So the lovely thing about Plugumalen is it has this very quiet slipway into a sheltered piece of river. The bottom of the slipway gives out into a narrow piece of river where the tide runs quite strongly so I row out further into a little lake further down the river where I can drop anchor and hoist sail in a calm and measured fashion without worrying about the boat swinging round with the tide. This is the Riviere de Bono, a tributary of the Ore River, which is part of the Golfe du Morbihan in southeastern Brittany. Having hoisted the sail, I haul in on the anchor warp, and this brings the boat round and up into the wind as by the sheer speed of hauling in the anchor, and so I then have time to stow it before I go back to the helm and uh, get the boat sailing. Further down the river it enters a narrow gorge and I drop the sail and row through and under an iron suspension bridge just before the little village of Le Bono where I'm intending to stop and pick up some water. was Le Bono and we went in there hoping to get some water but um, I'm afraid that it's these modern toilet blocks don't seem to ever provide taps that you can put um, a water bottle under so So we've just tapped out of Le Bono, dodging various rows of mooring trots. Mooring trots are when lazy people who can't manage to moor their boat between two boys, which I have to say takes a bit of skill, what they do is they rig a rope between the boys and then everyone else does and then what you end up with is rows of boats that you cannot get through when you're tacking up the river because even when there's a gap there is actually a rope there in the way. If there were justice in the world, trots would be banned. doing now, having not managed to get any water in the Bono, because the public toilets have been all trended up 
and there's one of those funny little stainless steel basins you can't get a water bottle in underneath the tap of. Because of that, we are going to go up to Sangustan, which is, so we've just come out of Labona and we're just going to go round the corner and up the other river. And uh, we'll get some water there. Maybe, maybe I should have filled up with water before I left home, but <laughs> there you go. It's an hour away, Sangustan, so um, whether we'll get there or not, I don't know, but we're um, going to eat some food. See if I can find where I put my knife. worst comes to the worst I do actually have a little bit of water so we won't die and actually have a litre of milk so actually maybe I don't need to get to Sangristan it's very pretty round here it's a ruined chateau over there mackerel pate thing on sailing boats is always to have food that you can just eat really fast. It doesn't need cooking. For times like this when you're not getting to your destination terribly quickly. We have even been overtaken by someone in a kayak just now. There again, he was paddling and I'm, I'm just lounging here eating um, mackerel pate. Finally, I arrive at Sangustan and drop the sail and start rowing into the little town. By the time I've got the boat moored against the quayside and the cover up, it's too late to cook, so I go to the nearby brasserie for my supper. Good morning from Sangristan. These are mooring trots, you see, and uh, as you'll see, I'm actually moored to one, so I've got no room to criticise. So this was just a little poodle up the river, but you always have to. Um, We just have to take these things seriously. There's quite strong tides here and uh, there's all sorts of things that can still go wrong. Lots of places are opening now for breakfast, so if I was still more to the quayside, I could be going ashore and having breakfast, but then why when I've got the Yorkshire Dee? Sangustan is part of the town of Ore. It's the, the quayside area. It's a 
nice place. It would have been nice to have shown you round, but tides to catch. Just dropped anchor further down the Ore River. Gonna make some coffee. It feels like all I ever do is sail about and drink coffee. It's probably quite close to the truth. It's always a bit pressurised. Setting off surrounded by moored boats. Really there shouldn't be moored boats. It's not just trots. Can't people people had dinghies they could keep them ashore and rivers would be would be empty. Look at it. The place is full of moored boats and I'm about the only person going sailing other than the people looking after the oyster beds. Further down the Ore River, it opens out and the wind grows stronger and finally I lower the sail and stop, just lying to, to roll in a reef, lying to here, drifting with the wind, slightly stern on to the seas, which is how the Ilur lies, very comfortably, so that I can work my way along the sail, tying down the reef points. slightly up the river with the wind despite the tide going down. Mud everywhere. Finally, far down the river, I arrive off the little town of Loch Maria Kay, which is nearly at the Narrows, where the Gulf de Morbihan opens out into the uh, Bay of Biscay. An entrance channel through the oyster beds gives access to a little quay that serves the town. Loch Maria Kay is a charming place surrounded by deep oyster beds. 
It's low tide, so I leave my boat moored to the cal and go ashore and have a beer. Then I come back and have a bit more food and watch the trip boats coming alongside the cal on their tours of the gulf. And then finally I too set off and sail back up the river. The wind's even stronger now and so I stop and put in another reef and then go storming up the Ore River back, back inland. Going through the narrows now, a bit, bit ticklish the steering. Arriving back at the suspension bridge at Lebono, I have the tide and what little wind there is now with me, and so I glide through gently beneath it. By the time I enter the narrows beyond the bridge, it has started to rain. Arriving back at Plugumelen, now it's raining gently, but it was good. It was a good weekend. Not anything bad went wrong. It's but <laughs> but it's interesting. You stumble around back on a boat after um, after a while away. This isn't a political channel, but. Um, I have now got a flat in France and that is due to certain political events which I could go on about um, but in order to protect my ability to work both in Britain and in France I've had to get myself an address in France so um, that's why my first sail of the season this year is, uh, is on a French river rather than in Britain. So, um, tide's still coming in, so we should be able to just tie ourselves to the slipway and go and, uh, and go and get the car. So that's what we're going to do.